I presented a workshop on the serious subject of injecting humor into your writing. Oh, so do you have a humorous statement for us about to share? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think I'm humored out. <laughs> um, I do write humor. I write two humorous series, and I, I love writing humor and love sharing that with other writers. There's a twist to writing humor, I would imagine, that's different than writing things that are serious. Um, the techniques are not that different, um, but yes, it, it, it's harder. You can't go over it as many times without losing the humor. So there are tricks to it, and that's what I shared yesterday. Can, can you share one trick with uh, one tip, not trick, trick tip <laughs> with us? Um, yeah, uh, the most common and the most effective technique is called expectation and reversal. And basically, when we set up a line, people have an expectation of where it's going to go. And when we want to write humor, we twist it into someplace else. Um, so expectation and reversal and incongruity are probably the strongest humor writing tools a writer can employ. Great. Now in your writing, because I know actually another writer gave, he gave this clue, was that whenever, there's a, whenever he's funny, it's Craig Johnson, I believe, whenever mm -hmm. some, he says something funny, there's a hint in there about who's committed the murder. Do you, you, do you tag humor with any kind of hints for the audience? No, I don't, but I probably um, have a lot more humor in my books than, uh, my books are more all out funny than Craig's are. Um, so uh, no, um, but uh, yeah, that is actually a wonderful tip, I think, of, of, in, of putting a clue in the humor. I like to put clues um, in the mouth of a liar or an unreliable character that no one will believe. That's my tip. Oh, okay. Oh, good, good, good. So say, what, what's the title of your books? Um, I have two series. One uh, features um, a questionable psychic and a modern goddess who works in the FBI, and those are High Crimes on the Magical Plane and Magical Alienation. And I also write a funny series featuring the daughter of eccentric Hollywood stars, and the latest of which is Revenge on Route 66. It's kind of a funny romp along the southwestern Route 66. Great. What, was, what, what location on Route 66 was your favorite? Um, oh. <laughs> or, well, okay. Yeah. Best yeah. Uh, well, you know, um, I used some real ones, but then I made up some. So my favorite one is, is the town of Tecos, New Mexico, which is... Uh, which I made up. Because you can't really be making fun of the chief of police of some real town. So uh, when, when you're writing humor, you often have to make up places. We obviously haven't seen the news about Espanol's chief. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you can have lots of humor about that one. <laughs> you know, that's the thing about writing humor. Real life is crazier. You have to actually tone it down in, in humor writing. Good to know, good to know. And what do you like best about our conference? Oh, the friendliness, I think. Um, everyone is so friendly. It's easy to meet people. You can just sit down and everyone is interested in everybody else. Um, I went to dinner with uh, two people last night, one of whom I didn't know and one of whom I've known for years. And, you know, it's that kind of thing that's wonderful about it. That's, that makes it fun. Great. I also had, there were great presentations. Um, I really loved them, everyone that I attended. So can you share one tip from a presentation that you're going to take home and use? Yeah, um, Melanie Snodgrass was talking about the difference between architects and gardeners. And I had not really heard those terms before, but uh, those are two approaches to plotting. And um, yeah, uh, that's something that I will share with others even too. What's the difference between, no, I can, how, how does architecture? Um, the architect plans, draws up in effect a plan, a blueprint for the novel. A gardener just goes out and discovers where things are growing and makes bends and paths where things are growing or not and just sort of discovers things along the way. Okay, it's more organic to gardening. Yes, yes, perhaps, yes. Okay, good. Um, let me see. And so this is, since this is for the website, is there any, is there any hints you would give people who are browsing why they should come? Oh, I think you will love it. It's small enough that you can oh, meet... I'm sorry, I'm going to interrupt oh, you because, okay. again, it's... Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, the Tony Hillerman Conference is small enough that you can meet a lot of people, um, and yet it has a lot of presenters, um, so you can get a lot of tips. 
um, on your writing. Everyone I talked to told me they were really inspired by the speakers they saw. Um, there's a diversity of speakers um, on every possible subject related to writing. Um, so uh, there's something here for everybody.